As Scott just mentioned, it's now been a year since restaurants across the state had to close their doors as COVID-19 cases spread rapidly across the state. And now with indoor dining allowed again, many businesses are dealing with a new version of an old problem. And as Tonya Sides Kelly Dudzik explains for us, it's yet another way that some popular restaurants are being hurt financially. Scott and Mary Alice were talking about no shows, people who don't even call to cancel their reservation, and that's making it harder for restaurants to survive. You only have so many tables available, and that's why reservations are so key to restaurants being successful right now. We want to be able to reserve a safe space for you and to also be able to count on the customers coming in and not turning other customers away. Carolyn Rooney is the general manager at Trattoria Aroma on Bryant Street in Buffalo. And over the weekend, the restaurant posted on Facebook about the problem of people just not showing up for their reservations. What's been happening a lot for many local restaurants I know is that folks make multiple reservations or just any reservation and don't cancel their reservations. So then we're left holding this table either for an evening or for an entire seating that we really can't afford to, while also turning other diners away and affecting their night negatively. Coles posted a similar message on Facebook, just asking you to call if you aren't able to make it. Carolyn says being considerate of others goes a long way, especially when it comes to staffing. If you have someone who's expecting to make what, an average amount of money so that they can financially support themselves, they come off of unemployment and they take that risk. And we want people to be able to do that. We want folks back to work. But it's really hard for restaurants to say, hey, come back, we've got you. It's going to be uh, regular income again. And then actually it turns out not to be that evening or that week because folks don't think about that. And that server or that bartender loses money and they can't then pay their bills. So in turn, it really does affect everybody, both from an owner standpoint, management standpoint and staffing standpoint. Some restaurants do take your credit card info when you make a reservation, but Aroma isn't doing that right now. In downtown Buffalo, Kelly Dodzik, Channel 2 News.